We want to get turn our attention back to Carson Meredith right yeah. now. Just seeing that map behind you has us a little concerned. Yeah, so you're talking about definitely heavy rain, definitely yeah. heavy wind. What else? Yeah, and there's still that chance for damaging wind gusts, guys, and even that chance for a few tornadoes as well. There's the new severe weather outlook. This just came down about 10 minutes ago, and fortunately, there's no major changes. And I say fortunately because there is at least some concern that we could see a rare level five risk across Mississippi with that latest update. Thankfully, that is not the case, but unfortunately, a significant tornado outbreak is still expected to our south and west this afternoon. Here in North Alabama, that risk has gone up slightly compared to this morning. You see that level two risk in those orange colors from Athens and Decatur points west. So this also includes Moulton, Muscle Shoals, Cherokee, Red Bay, Russellville. That's where we had the greatest chance to see some of those severe thunderstorms later on today. But our main concern out of this entire system is going to be heavy rain. We absolutely will see heavy rainfall late this afternoon and going through the evening hours tonight. Flash flooding will be on the table as well as that threat for damaging winds and tornadoes as well. As we give you the wide view of radar, you'll notice this line of storms just now starting to intensify across western Mississippi. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings right over Jackson right now. One tornado warning with a confirmed tornado as well. This again all in Mississippi, but as the day wears on, this will be moving northeastward. So we'll be watching that main line of storms as well as the showers that are developing ahead of the line in eastern Mississippi. Those showers right there along Interstate 59 could wind up becoming supercells based on the latest trends I'm seeing in some of our data sources. You'll notice just off to our west, we have tornado watches in effect for much of Mississippi stretching down in Louisiana, and it's not out of the question to see a tornado watch issued here in North Alabama later on today. On top of the severe weather threat, we're talking about flooding too. A flood watch is in effect for areas west of Huntsville, so Madison County westward. That flood watch starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon and goes until tomorrow morning. And that zone in the green color, that's where we're most concerned about flooding. Many spots picking up upwards of 2 to 3 inches of rain just this afternoon and tonight. And on top of the heavy rain potential, we have very gusty winds outside of thunderstorms right now. Wind advisories in effect. We'll see those wind gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour this afternoon, this evening, and it will stay quite breezy for your Wednesday as well, even after that cold front moves through later on tonight. Here's the timing of those storms later on. Northwest Alabama, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Along the Metro I-65 corridor, 5 to 7 p.m. You've got to give yourself some extra time heading home from the office this evening. And then finally, Northeast Alabama past sunset, 7 to 9 o'clock tonight. Those again when the storms arrive in your backyard. You'll notice on future radar, main line of storms still in Mississippi at 1 o'clock, watching any supercells trying to get going in southern Mississippi. All this activity lifts northward late this afternoon, and any of those supercells that are able to hold together into North Alabama could increase our tornado potential just a little bit. And then those supercells kind of merge together with the main line of storms past sunset tonight, and you see that heavy rain sticking around all night long. Flash flooding is going to be a big problem overnight tonight and possibly lingering into your Wednesday morning as well. Fortunately, the heavy rain will finally move out as we get closer to the morning drive on Wednesday. So just stay weather aware. This is going to be an active afternoon and evening. Unfortunately, download that way 31 storm tracker weather app. You'll get those watches and warnings as they are issued. 70 forecast quiets down for the rest of your work week. Just a little bit cool with those highs in the low 60s.